With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello friends, the question is, obtain the volume of rectangular boxes with the following length, breadth and height respectively. So we are given four parts, I'll solve one by one each part. So firstly, let us just see that what is the volume of a rectangular box. So volume of a rectangular box. So this is equals to length multiplied by breadth and multiplied by its height. And we are given all these three things. This first one is length, second one is breadth and third one is height. So we need to find the product of these for finding the volume of a rectangular box. So first part is 5a comma 3a square comma 7a raised to the power 4. So finding the volume this will be equal to 5a multiplied by 3a square multiplied by 7a raised to the power 4. Now what I'll do is I'll write the like terms together which is 5 into 3 into 7 and a into a square into a raised to the power 4. Okay, now this 7 into 3 into 5 is nothing but 105 multiplied by, now just remember one property of exponents which is when bases are same and powers are different and these are in multiplication. So all these parts will get added. So it will become x raised to the power a plus b plus c. And similarly here bases are same. These are in multiplication. So parts will get added. So it will become a raised to the power 1 plus 2 plus 4. So this will become 105 times a raised to the power 7. So this is the answer for volume for our first part. Okay. Now let's see the second part. Second part is 2p comma 4q comma 8r. Okay. So now again we'll find the volume in a similar way. So length is 2p length multiplied by breadth which is 4q multiplied by height which is 8r. Again writing these numbers together 2 into 4 into 8 multiplied by p into q into r. So 4 to the size 8 and 8 eights are 64. So 64 times p q r. So this is the volume for second part. Okay, let's see what's the third part. Third part is x y comma 2 x square y comma 2 x y square. x y comma 2x square y comma 2xy square. So this is our third part. So again volume will be equal to xy multiplied by 2x square y multiplied by 2xy square. Again write the like terms together. So this will become 2 into 2 multiplied by x into x square into x multiplied by y into y into y square. Now this 2 to the will become 4 multiplied by again these bases are same and these are in multiplication so parts will get added. So it will become x raised to the power 1 plus 2 plus 1. Similarly here y raised to the power 1 plus 1 plus 2. So finally what we will get is 4 x raised to the power 4 y raised to the power 4. Now fourth part is a comma 2b comma 3c. a comma 2b comma 3c. So volume will be equal to a multiplied by 2b multiplied by 3c. Okay, now again writing the like terms together. So 2 into 3 multiplied by A into B into C. Okay, so 3 to the 6 times ABC. This is the volume for fourth part. 
So this is how we have solved all these parts. All right, we were given four parts. Okay. So thanks for watching. For class six to twelve, ITG and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.